Hello lovely people, welcome to Yoga with Rose. This video is part of the January journey to wellness, which is a 21 day journey of free yoga and meditation. If you just clicked on this video to do some wonderful yoga, then welcome. And you can find the rest of my January journey practices up until today on my homepage on YouTube. But to everyone, welcome to day seven of your journey. You have made it a full week, so congratulations for getting this far. Today's practice is a lovely full body vinyasa flow. If you've got some props, then grab them. You might need some blocks just for some support. And today we'll be working on using the rhythm of our own breath to initiate our movement. Also incorporating, working on flexibility and balances. So when you're ready, roll out your mat and let's get started. Okay friends, we'll begin our practice today standing on our mat in our mountain pose. Feet are about hips width apart. Just take a big shoulder roll, releasing the shoulders down the back. And palms facing forward and just close your eyes. And take this moment to find your center, your presence here on your mat. rooting down through your feet into the floor at the same time as elongating through your head into the sky. And keeping the eyes closed, draw the left ear to left shoulder as you guide it with the hand. So we come into a gentle neck stretch. Use your breath, inhale to invite in more space. Exhale to release the right shoulder down. And then coming to the other side, drawing right ear to right shoulder. Just placing the right hand on top of the head. Just cracking open the left side of the neck. Good, then coming back to center. Just open the feet a little bit wider and as we inhale, reaching both hands above our head and we're just gonna take hold of our right wrist with our left hand. Take an inhale to reach up to the sky and then as we exhale, bending over to the left as we come into a side stretch. And you can bend into that right knee here if that feels good. Have a play around with how this feels. Maybe you wanna bring the feet together and squeeze the thighs in. And then recovering back to center and taking hold of the left wrist, inhale to grow tall, and then exhale, reaching over to the right side. Good, opening up the side of the body, breathing into the ribs. And then recovering back to center, drawing the hands down to our heart. Then come to step to the top of your mat if you weren't there already. Grounding down through those feet. We're gonna take our sun salutation B to start our practice with. So as you inhale, raise your hands above the head as you sit back into our chair pose, Utkatasana. Send the hips back, squeeze the inner thighs together and then exhale, fold the body down to the floor. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands and step back to high plank pose. Core is engaged. And then take your chaturanga. Inhale, open the body up to the sky, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Good, sending the chest back towards the legs, easing the heels to the floor. And then stepping the right leg through the hands at the top of the mat, ground down through the left heel as we inhale, raise the arms up to warrior one. Hips facing the front of our mat, nice and parallel here. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold the body down, frame the front foot, step back to plank and then take your flow. Dropping the knees if you want to here. Inhale to open up. 
exhale to raise the hips downward facing dog. Good, and then stepping the left leg through the hands this time, ground through the right heel. Inhale, rise the body up, warrior one. Good, bending into that front knee here. Take an inhale, lift the gaze if you can. Exhale, fold the body down, frame the front foot. Stepping back to plank, navel to spine, then take your chaturanga. Open up into cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take three rounds of breath here. Inhale in. Exhale to melt. Inhale. Exhale. Good, one more round. Inhale in. And then exhale. Softening the knees now, look to the top of the mat as you take two steps or hop. Inhale, come to halfway. Exhale, deep forward fold. Good, soften the knees now as you inhale, rise up to chair pose. Take the sit bones back. Exhale, hands to heart. And take a moment here to come back to your breath. And we'll take this round again. Take an inhale, sit back into chair. Sit the hips nice and low, lift the chest. Exhale, cascade the body down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank, core is engaged. And then take your chaturanga. Open up into upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, send the hips back, downward facing dog. Maybe going a little deeper this time. Then inhale, raise the right leg to the sky, three-legged dog, hips parallel to the floor. Good, as we exhale, bring the right knee to right elbow. Inhale, take it back to three-legged dog. And then exhale, step the foot through the hands, ground through the back heel. As we inhale, raise the body, warrior one. Good, back knees nice and pulled up here. And then as we exhale, open the body out to our warrior two. Press the shoulders down, away from the ears. Just take a moment to check your alignment here. Knees directly on top of the ankle. And then as we exhale, reaching over to our extended side angle, elbow connects to the thigh. Good, opening up the side of the body. As we inhale next, rotating the arms back through warrior two and opening out into our peaceful warrior. Moving with our breath now, inhale as we rotate over extended side angle, reach the arm overhead. And then floating back to our peaceful warrior, cracking open the body, flowing through either pose here. Opening our chest up to the sky. And then last time coming through to extended side angle, maybe this time bringing the hand to the floor. Spending a little more time here. And then rotating back up to our warrior two. Rotate the arms to frame the front foot. Step back to plank, core is engaged and take your flow. Open into upward facing dog. And exhale downward facing dog. Take three rounds of breath here. Using each exhale to melt further into your downward dog. And then inhale, raise the left leg to the sky. Press into the left hand equally here. And then exhale, shift forward, left knee comes to left elbow. Good, inhale, send it back, three-legged dog. And then exhale as we step the leg through the hands, ground through the back foot. Inhale, raise to warrior one. Now strong legs here, knees are pulled up. And then as we exhale, opening the body out to our warrior two. Pressing the shoulder blades down the back. Good, then as we inhale, rotating over to our side angle 
elbow connects to our thigh, reaching the arm overhead. Then as we float back through warrior two, opening up into our peaceful warrior. Good, back hand slides down the back leg here. And then flowing with your breath between these two movements. Spend as much time as you want to in each. Remember this is your practice, doing whatever feels good for your body today. Using your breath to open up and deepen. And then coming to our last extended side angle, maybe bringing the fingertips to the floor this time. Good, breathing into the side of the body. And then cartwheel the arms up to warrior two. And then coming down to frame the front foot, step back to your plank, then take your chaturanga. Inhale, open the chest up. And then downward facing dog. Good, take three rounds of breath here. Inhale in. And exhale, let it go. Good, inhale in. Exhale, going deeper into your downward dog. Inhale, and then exhale, bending the knees. Take two steps or a little hop to join your hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, slowly rising up to chair pose, Utkatasana, send the hips back. And then exhale, standing up, drawing the palms to our heart center. Good, well done everyone. Take a moment here to find your presence, find your center. And then when you're ready, shifting your weight into the left foot here, inhale, raise the right knee to the chest to our one-legged Tadasana. And then start to slowly send the leg back and step it down to about halfway back on the mat. Almost like our warrior one legs, but straightening the front knee. Then we're gonna bring our hands behind us and either taking hold of each elbow or coming into a reverse prayer. So bringing the fingertips together and palms if we can. Good, take an inhale to lift the chest. Exhale, start to fold the body over the legs, just coming to halfway first, to a tabletop back. Good, then take an inhale in, and then exhale to lower the body over the leg, even more if you can. We're going deep into our hamstrings, so use your exhales to soften and let go. Then starting to rise the body up, bending the front knee as you do. Inhale, raise the arms, warrior one. And then as we exhale, transfer the weight into the front foot as we bring the knee to chest. Good, from here we're coming into our tree pose. So connecting the sole of the foot with the inside of the left leg. Just be careful it's not coming onto the knee joint. It can be below or above. And then bringing the palms to our heart. Use the press of the foot into the leg to open up the hip here. And then take an inhale to raise the arms up to the sky, opening them nice and wide. Imagine you're holding the earth between your hands. Good, then drawing our palms back down to our heart, we're gonna take the right leg and just cross it over the left thigh here, just above the knee, to come into a standing pigeon pose. Good, maybe here is enough for you. If you wanna come into more of a stretch, then as you exhale, slowly folding the body over the legs as we bend the underneath leg. Okay, this is a test for our balance as well, so you can bring your hands down to the floor or to some blocks if you like. Maybe resting the elbows on the leg. Okay, find your drishti. Coming deep into the right hip and glute here. You can even fold the body all the way over the legs if that feels good. Find your center, find your breath. And then slowly from here, coming up to fingertips, engaging your core as we rise the body back up, knee to chest, and then exhale, placing it down, hands to heart. Good, well done, take a moment, 
find your grounding and then as you inhale now raise the left knee to chest good exhale slowly take the leg back as we step it back to our pyramid pose straightening the front knee just square the hips off to the top of the mat you can bring the hands to the hips and then taking your hands behind either into our prayer pose or holding on to each elbow if we can Take an inhale to lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Good, into our tabletop first. Think of pulling the right hip back this time. Take a lovely long spine. And then on an exhale, releasing the body over the leg. This is a really good one for balance as well, so make sure your core is engaged. Again, you can bring your fingers down over the leg and close your eyes. Use your breath here. And then slowly as we inhale, start to rise up, bending through the front knee to come back to our warrior one. And then as we exhale, transfer the weight onto the right leg as we bend the left knee into the chest. Good, coming to our tree pose on the other side now, connecting the sole of the foot to the inside of the leg. Find your drishti, your focal point. Grounding down through the underneath foot. And then as we inhale, opening the arms up to the sky. Imagining there are branches growing, lovely and tall. Then exhale, drawing the palms down to our heart. Releasing the left leg. You can use your hand for this if you want. And then crossing it over into our figure of four. Good, soften into the right leg here. And then as we exhale, folding the body over the legs to come into our pigeon stretch. Good, coming into a deep hip opener here. So use your breath to try and soften, to surrender the muscles. Again, you can bring the hands all the way down to the floor and really fold the body over the legs to get a deeper stretch. And then nice and slowly bringing your body up, controlled. As we inhale, raise the hands to the sky and then exhale, coming to stand. Amazing work, you guys. Have a pedal out of those feet. Good, inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold the body down to the floor. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, plant the hands and just slowly release yourself down to a seated position on your mat. Good, coming to the front, now reaching the arms out in front and then exhale just to curve your way down to your back. Good, when you get there, just bring both knees into your chest, give them a little hug. Maybe rock from side to side. Extending both legs up to the sky. We're going to come to our happy baby pose. So as we exhale, drawing the knees down towards the floor, down towards the elbows, as we maybe take hold of the outside of the legs. If you can grab the outsides of the feet. If you've got a strap close by. Think of pressing the lower back into the floor here, so the spine is lovely and long on our mat. We could take a little rock from side to side. Generally feels nice in this position. Good, then maybe finding some stillness. Close your eyes. On your exhales, think of drawing the knees down towards your elbows a little more. releasing your hands, taking your feet back up to the sky, give them a little wiggle and then slowly releasing the legs down 
as we extend one out at a time to our final position, our Shavasana. Opening the hands out to either side. Finding your breath here. And just take this moment to give yourself permission to completely relax. Relax the whole of your body, let it feel heavy. Let it sink into the mat with every exhale. Don't worry about what comes after this moment or what came before, just be here now, laying on your mat. to spend more time relaxing here then I would really encourage you to do that but if you want to close your practice with me today then just start to come back into your body come back to your breath and then gently rolling over onto one side and meeting me in a seated position keeping the eyes closed Placing your hands on your thighs. Notice. Inhale, raise the arms to the sky, gathering in all that wonderful energy you've just cultivated. And then exhale, draw it all down to your heart. We'll close our practice today with one releasing breath together. Take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go out of the mouth. <sighs> Thank you for joining me today. You completed day seven of your January journey to wellness and I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow for day eight. Namaste.